days left to get entered to win the turbo K-Swap FRS here. If you guys didn't see the last video, we got her on E85. It is now making 410 wheel horsepower. We got her turned up. She's running great. And uh, we got some orders going out today. And I also want to remind you guys, we still got the Type S jump packs going out as well as some random orders. We got the Sun hats restocked. We got the K-Series coil covers restocked. And uh, we got a whole bunch of stuff left on the website. Three days left. One of you guys will win this K-Swap FRS. And yes, it will come with new tires. Does the neighbor approve? Yeah. Good to go? Yeah, good one. <laughs> What's up, guys? So the other day I took my gym trainer for a ride in the Routacy. You guys have obviously seen the video where I took her for a ride in the NSX and that video blew up. I did not expect it to get that much traction, but you guys saw the thumbnail and title of today's video. Today we're going to be taking her in the Routacy and I didn't expect that last one to do as good as it did, but we got a whole bunch of new subscribers, a whole bunch of people were asking questions about the car, things like that. People just have never heard of us and that introduced us to a uh, whole bunch of new people. So in case you are a new person watching this video, I'm going to go ahead and just give a brief overview of the Routacy for those of you that don't know what this thing is. If you know what the Routacy already is, you know, you can skip ahead and just watch her go for a ride in this thing. But this is the Routacy. This is our 1995 Honda Odyssey minivan that has been converted to all wheel drive and it has a 1000 horsepower Honda K series engine in it. And yes, this is a true 1000 horsepower minivan. It's been dynoed several times. It puts down a thousand horsepower to the tires. It has been converted to all wheel drive. Like I said, it has a sequential dog box transmission, has a big old Garrett turbo on there and a fully built Honda K24 engine. And uh, yeah, that's about the gist of it. And the interior is uh, pretty basic. It still has the interior of the original minivan, has a roll cage in there. It's pretty cut up in here. Got the switches on there. It's powered by a fuel tech ECU. So this runs the whole engine, this little dash right here. Controls all of it, that's the shifter right there. Nothing too crazy. We built this thing originally to be a sleeper, just an unsuspecting minivan, but you know, it makes a thousand horsepower, especially from the back. You can never tell this was uh, anything serious. So yeah, that's about all I have to say about the minivan. I guess let's uh, go ahead and show you guys how my trainer reacted to it. All right, guys, we just got done with our workout and uh, I'm gonna take Tiffany here for a Hi. ride in the route to see what you think. This piece of shit. <laughs> hey, don't call her that. Dude, she's supposed to be ugly. What is this? Okay, a tree branch <laughs> fell on the hood, so. Oh man. Are you sure I could go fast? I promise you it's fast. <laughs> Alright. This one this one makes just as much power as the orange one you wrote in. I don't in. believe that. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> well, hopefully I can prove it to you. Right. But uh yeah, we're gonna go ahead and take her for a ride in the van and uh see how she does today. Drove over to the gym, no problem at all. Didn't get too hot, so she's ready to rip. Also, I did turn it up a little bit. So last time we drove it, it was making like 20 something pounds probably in the 700s i turned it up this morning she's almost making 30 so it's a solid probably 800 wheel horsepower right now and she's running good it's not loose there you go almost a boy almost a girl i feel like a real nascar <laughs> hitting boost cut on that one which is at 32 pounds so i did just have to turn it down a smidge we should be good now though what is boost cut it means it made too much power too much boost too much is there ever too much boost uh unfortunately yes not for a boosted boy <laughs> <laughs>
was something in the rear definitely let go. I'm assuming it's one of our axle. Oh, it snapped that axle. Why it's custom axle shop is gonna go out of business, dude. Look at that. Snapped her clean off. Oh, dude, we're missing the whole rest of the shaft. I bet we left that out on the road somewhere. <laughs> Let me go see if we can find that later today. Holy crap, look at that. It just snapped her right there. Told you boys, I had her turned up. And we just sheared it. Can you see it right here? See this? See this little tube? Yeah. That's what drives the whole back tire right here. <laughs> so it literally... It's just gone. It snapped it. She ain't no slouch. What'd you think? Even fast. though it broke a little bit. We got fast. a couple good ones. Hey, but I'll let you get back to uh, training, doing what you do. Thanks, Kyle. And we'll see you around. Boosie boys. See life. ya. <laughs> There she is, boys. Found the axle. <sighs> that is her. <laughs> Busted right off the weld there. Definitely way too thin of a sidewall tubing. We had them butted up in there, but just not a thick enough tube unfortunately you guys can't tell me i didn't hit third gear good on that one because that snapped right on the two three shift the routacy doesn't have a strain gauge so i clutch it in between the shifts and i uh shifted that two three grabbed the clutch quick and i felt her snap right when i dumped the clutch and i even stayed in it for a little bit longer i knew right away something in the rear end broke because the front tires just started spinning like crazy and then i rode it all the way through third gear on limiter just blowing the front tires off of this thing and you can definitely hear the difference between the all-wheel drive working and then a rear axle snapping and the van being completely in front-wheel drive. It had zero traction. But uh, pretty cool we could find the axle. We might be able to make something work with what we got, but we're probably gonna just order a new set of rear axles eventually because that was the last weak point in the drivetrain. And I was expecting that to happen, but not until we took it to the drag strip. So I'm surprised it broke from a roll, which just goes to show if we did end up taking the seat to the strip, that probably would have broke right away. But. Uh, at least she's good to drive so we can get her home. I think we're gonna have to reevaluate the axles on the rear. <laughs> I went back and I found it. Yeah. It, it fell out on the road, this section. You can just see that yeah. sidewall's way too thin. And that was the one that was a little wonky. Yeah, this is the one that didn't fit right. That was the questionable one. Yeah. I think the other one's good. Maybe just a little thicker sleeve and one that actually fits right. So when I built this, this tube was like pretty loose on this axle. So I think that's probably what caused it. Hey, it held like solid yeah, I mean, 15 hits. If it was at least 28, 30 pounds, I mean, that thing was making some jam. Yeah, like I mean, she was probably yeah, in the realm of eight to 900 wheel horsepower. So that's pretty impressive. Not bad. Not too shabby. <laughs> Good sign. Slap those nittles on there. Look at the marks this thing leaves. <laughs> it's so rowdy. Well guys, we are getting some tires swapped out on the hatch right now because tomorrow we are taking this thing to the Freedom Factory for the circle drags. I have no idea how this thing is going to do, but we just did a couple test launches in the driveway here and everything seems good. The transmission in this thing was freshly rebuilt, so hopefully that is all good there. I haven't raced it since we broke it, but I got the trans fixed. Got it back in the car. Everything seems awesome. She's driving great. So we went ahead and pulled our wheels and tires off of this thing. And we got some fresh Nitto uh, NTO ones going on to the hatch here. So these will be a much stickier, grippier tire than what we currently have on there right now. So we're gonna get those guys swapped out. Hopefully that helps us a little bit, but there's gonna be a lot of cars running the spectator drags tomorrow. This is their biggest pot yet. First place gets 10 grand. So they're gonna be fighting for it out there, guys. I'm sure there's gonna be Tesla Plaids. Uh, Cletus has his uh, Porsche. There's gonna be a lot of quick cars. Honestly, I have no idea how the hatch is gonna do against these guys. It might be a 
high horsepower all-wheel drive Civic that accelerates pretty good out of the hole, but that's about all it has going for it. This thing is not good in corners. The suspension is just not set up for any of that stuff. So I really don't know how far we're gonna be able to push this thing, but I'll give it our best shot and hopefully not put it into the freaking wall out there. So we're gonna go ahead and get these tires swapped out, get them back on the car, and uh, we'll see you guys out at the Freedom Factory for these circle drags. I'm pretty excited to see how this thing does and uh, go from there. But anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. And remember, three days left for the FRS giveaway. So be sure to get your orders in if you haven't already, because one of you guys is taking that thing home.